Well, good morning again. We're in Luke chapter 9, verse 21, as we continue the life of Jesus. And he says this, and he, this is after Jesus asked the question, so who do you say I am? And he strictly charged and commanded them to tell this to no one. He says, don't tell anyone who you're saying I am. Saying, verse 22, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. So Jesus was predicting and he's telling them exactly what's going to happen to him. Now, there's some people who say, well, um, Jesus didn't die on the cross and um, God saved him. God didn't allow him to die on the cross and so on, so on else. But G this is what Jesus came into the world for. He is, um, if you remember the Passover lamb, the lamb that was slain and the blood was applied to the, to the, to the homes and um, the death angel passed over the homes of the Hebrews, protecting the firstborn son from um, destruction. Jesus is the Lamb of God, the Lamb that was there. And, and God, um, through the prophets, told us that the Messiah is going to come. But in Isaiah 53, we read of someone who is going to be um, um, beaten and bruised and will die. Now, G even when Mary was um, in the temple, I think it was Simon who said to her, or Simeon who said to her, well, a sword will pierce your heart also. Why? He was referring to the death of Jesus. And here Jesus came to die. As John said, John 1, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God will have to die. And Jesus knew exactly what he came for. He came to die. So um, he said, the Son of Man must suffer. He must suffer. Be rejected and be killed and on the third day be raised. Now, notice those words, suffer, rejection, being killed. You and I will go through suffering in our lives and Jesus was no stranger to that. So whenever we're going through difficult times, tough circumstances, we must remember that Jesus, he was faced with all of these things. He was rejected by the elders. He was rejected by the religious men, the religious leaders, the religious institution in his day and time. He was rejected by them. And in fact, they actually are the ones who sentenced him to death. He was killed. And he's, on the third day, he says, he will be raised again. So Jesus knew exactly why he came into the world. He came to lay down his life. He says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him will be saved. So Jesus came into the world to die on the cross for our sins. He, he knew this and he was telling this to the disciples. They couldn't wrap their heads around this as we will see as we go on later on, but we'll stop there for a day and then we're going to take it up in verse number 23 tomorrow. Dear Lord, thank you. I pray a blessing upon your people today. I pray for strength. Lord, help us that whatever situations we're being faced with today, that God will continue to lift our eyes to you because you are acquainted with all our griefs, our sorrows, our pain, our struggles, and you're able to help us, Lord. I give you praise today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you.